Hi, this is Dr. Luke of Fearside LASIK and 43 Vision, and today we are going to show the EVO ICL placement. Here we're getting the inserter ready, replacing both a saline solution as well as OVD. This is a jelly-like substance that uh, helps keep the lens protected as well as uh, for use inside the eye. Now the lens is placed onto the inserter and then folded and ultimately rolled. This allows us to place the EVO ICL through a small opening, diminishing trauma to the eye. We then roll the end lens by pulling it through the inserter and then fully assemble the inserter. Now we go back to the patient. The first thing we're going to do is make a very small opening about one millimeter to the side. This is where we place initial medication, numbing medication, as well as, again, OVD, that jelly-like substance, to make sure that the eye remains inflated and protected during this EVO ICL procedure. Now, you can see the jelly-like substance, and all the patient feels is some pressure and may experience a little bit of blurry vision. <clears throat> we are operating on the axis of the patient's astigmatism. This patient does not have much, uh, but by operating on axis, we can diminish what astigmatism the patient has, improving the quality of vision even further. We are now placing the EVO ICL. As you'll see in just a moment, we are going to unroll it in the correct orientation inside the eye. This patient is highly myopic or highly nearsighted, and is going to benefit greatly from this procedure. Now you can see that the lens was unrolled in the correct orientation. More OVD or jelly-like substance was placed inside the eye. Now we rotate this lens into the horizontal orientation. This lens can be placed in a vertical or oblique orientation. However, typically sizing is calculated for horizontal placement. With the previous generation of the ICL, the non-EVO, the lens had to be placed horizontally. You may be able to see a small hole in the center of that lens. That allows for fluid flow back and forth, which is one of the biggest benefits of the EVO ICL. This allows the overall risk to be diminished by about 80%. The optic size is also larger, improving night vision as well. Right now, we are removing the jelly-like substance with saline solution. Typically, use two to three syringes to do so. This patient is already seeing better. But as you can imagine, as the pupil get, comes down and the dilation goes away, the quality of vision is going to improve. This patient has done a very nice job and is going to benefit greatly from this um, in just a few moments. The last thing we do is place an antibiotic inside the eye to diminish the risk of infection even further. We also make sure that the pressure inside the eye is physiologic or normal, which we see here. So congratulations to this patient. He now sees much better.